Don't put your hood up. Why you hide behind your damn hood? Good morning, Chuck. Are you ready? Are you ready? CB, you ready? Yeah. How about some eye contact? Guys, I'm not ready. I didn't. I didn't leave yet. Good morning, everyone. As you know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while teaching my two sons, CB2. Say good morning, CB. Morning. He's not a morning person. For today's plumbing adventure, we're gonna be put we're gonna be putting in another 40 gallon gas water heater. And I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna show the plumbing apprentices a couple simple things that they need to remember. Four or five items that will happen on every water heater job. Just some simple tips. So we'll see you when we get there and we'll get the shots. See if we anything? I'm excited. He's excited. How excited are you, CB? I think it's a seven out of 10. A seven out of 10. Well, your enthusiasm does to show, it's about a one. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We truly appreciate it. Follow this journey as we train my two sons in the plumbing trade. Okay, so this is the puppy that's coming out. What we're gonna do, since we're in a little basement area, we're gonna use the pump. And when we hook the pump up, we're gonna hit the pump with chargeable water to clear the bottom sediment out. So this is full flow when we start draining it. A lot of times they're clogged. Yes, it did. So what we'll do, we'll hook the pump up, have CB hook the pump up, and then we're gonna open the boiler drain with the, the heater still charged with water pressure and uh, clear out the sediment. And of course, the second tip of the day is when we set this pump, the hose outside, you don't want it going on sidewalk open area that can be seen from the rusty water that will come out of this tank itself. So we're gonna find, we found a dirty spot behind the shed, which will take the water, no problem. And I'll show you that in a second. Another point of interest is when we clear this, open this up under water pressure, it will also fill your pump and prime it so when you plug it in, it doesn't uh, struggle to get a prime. CB2 on scene, he's ready. All right. Oh, see we got plenty of pressure going through the hose. Not much sediment. Plug her in, CB. We're gonna plug it in and then turn the water, water heater off, of course. And then we're going to open it, open the relief valve to uh, break the vacuum. And again, the water is draining in a, sp a safe place out of harm's way. We don't want no rust. Out of sight, out of mind. Little broken concrete's perfect, take it. You see how the gas line, which is copper, we're gonna change that, comes into the T sideways and hoping the dirt drops down below like so. But we're gonna drop the gas in the T like we always do. And we're gonna change this to uh, galvanized. Tommy Francis, when the pump starts to whine like this, that means the tank is empty. You want to unplug it before the pump burns out. 
apprentices in the winter time we gotta drain the hoses for the next job if you leave water in them what do they do what do they do CB Freeze up. that's right no water left in the hoses in the winter time even in summer because then you uh you can make a mess on the next job so make sure you drain that correctly CB Roger that And then on the pump, we always empty the pump. Preferably not on a good concrete. <laughs> this way there's no water. No water left in a pump to freeze. Because when you open up the heater, there's a dotted line for a reason. Cut every out here in one whole piece and lift the whole heater off. If you cut up here, you gouge the heater. So, there's a reason it's dotted. Chomps. That's, a nice, that's a nice new blade, all right? Tip apprentices, all this paint has got to come off for either pro pressing and or soldering. You'll never be able to solder unless you put that paint off. Get the paint off with the pliers. There's my light, my light's about to go off. The pliers works really good. Breaks up the paint. You guys out there have a better idea for these young bucks. Feel feel free to share. You know we're all about sharing. I don't know why the light went off, buddy. It said it was fully charged. You need a battery? Uh, I have you. Bring the charger in. So here you go. Oh, it's back on now. Has a mind of its own. It's possessed. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> the camera was hitting it. Never mind. We're good. So there you go. Nice and shiny with the paint off. See, I just showed the old pliers trick on the paint. All right. So that's ready to go. Oh, we have a rag handy too, see, babe? And that's how a fitting should look. Ready to solder or press. Put a new valve on here. So, of course, you gotta clean everything, man. Pro pressing and or soldering, of course. I didn't use to clean it, but then the boys were sure to let me know. Cause we ain't got no ego on this channel. We like it. Networking, baby. Just trying to improve ourselves here. Bunch of little stuff. Alright. There we go. Be for when you start doing side work. All your apprentices out there gonna do a heater for mom, dad, sister, friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You gotta prefab, especially if you're soldering a female adapter on here with a piece of pipe. Of course, if you solder this right here, you stand a chance of melting this and or this. Okay, we're not going to be soldering, but I had to point that out to you. Prefab, 
12 inch piece and your female adapters and uh, you won't melt these. Don't forget the mistake I made last week. Always check your valve so you can use it. You know, don't put it on this way and then, oh, I can't turn it off without moving the handle. So I made this mistake last week on the heater. So there you go. Boom. Important item is this, your relief valve drop. Goes here. Right within six inches of the floor. But the key, the key matter being, there cannot be no threads here because if a homeowner finds their relief out dripping, they could put a cap on it. So this has to be a dead end of a pipe. So, because some people use galvanized. So this had threads. A homeowner not knowing could put a cap on that and cause damage within the house because they think they're doing a good thing by putting a cap on this and that's if it's dripping it's actually doing its job so there you go no threads on the end of your relief drop leg and of course the crimp always goes up and out up and out with the crimp so it doesn't leak carbon monoxide. Alrighty, always the crimp up to the chimney. Last but not least, we're gonna get CB2 to light the pilot. Also, I like to put three screws, three or four per joint on the smoke pipe. Three or four speed screws per joint on the smoke pipe. from copper to galve, little mega press, strap, into our drip T. CB Gary like the pilot. Here's our new gas cock. Alright, we're gonna turn the gas on. Hear gas, so <laughs> we gotta tighten it up. <laughs> All right, mind to leak test everything. Bubble test. I did. This was loose. Let's get the, we'll get the leak detector too. Start bleeding that. You know how to do this, right? Chrome pile, hold it in for a minute. And uh, when you get the light, the signal. See what you're doing? No, spark it like this. Okay. You gotta, and then hold it after you get the pile that. You look in this hole to see if you got flame. Okay. 
Give her a shot. Yeah. Plain light. Nope. Did it again. Anything? Right here. Yeah, it's lit now. All right, hold it for a minute. Then switch it on. Switch it. Let go. If you let go and it stays on, you're good. Now I'll switch it. Yeah, let it out. Bang! <clears throat> Brand new heater. CB2 just lit it. She's firing the hole. And I'm comparing flames to my man, Lee. Always call me out on my yellow flame. I'm looking in there and it's really yellow and this is a brand new heater, so. What's the answer for that? I don't know. It's a yellowish flame now? Who can help me out here? Let's solve this problem. Cause we got plenty of fresh air in this room. And again, it's a brand new heater. So, with that, we're gonna shut her down. Here is I always put on the first hot setting. But there's hot A, B, C, and real hot. I let them do that. But I always put it right here on the first setting on because of uh, the water shouldn't go more than 120. All right? All you apprentices out there, check for leaks. Even though I did this while CB ran to take care of something else. We had a leak here. She's done. No more leaky leaky. Little mega press, like my angle chart. What? New gas cock. All right, we're all good. CB. Yeah. We'll even ask. Did you hit your head? CB, what we got? What we got, see, babe? We got a one day once for a while. What? What? What we got? Another, another satisfied apprentice. <laughs> yeah, we got that. You like that? Well, then say it. It's all you see, babe. Uh, he's coming. He's coming together. At least he's smiling now. All right, we'll see you at the next one.